Yo, I haven't done this in a minute. Y'all ain't seen my little face in a while. I'm with my pup. I'm with my other pup. He over there. Yeah, man. It's one of those days. Peace be with y'all, man. Jordan in the building. Uh, I just want to say if you tuning in with this video, if you coming from Instagram or wherever you found this video from, just know that I love and appreciate you for tuning in and willingly receiving this information. So with that out the way, let's get into this. I just want to say that there, nothing is a coincidence on this planet, bro. All right, so I'm going to go and show you this book that I done picked up today and how, <laughs> how crazy this book is. At sharing information on the jump. And I opened it right to the right page. All right, so look. This book is called Creative Visualization by Shakti Gawain. If I mispronounce that, my apologies. On page 18, it go, she goes to say this. Energy is magnetic. One law of energy is this. Energy of a certain quality or vibration tends to attract energy of a similar quality and vibration. Thought and feelings have their own magnetic energy, which attracts energy of a similar nature. We can see this principle at work, for instance, when we accidentally run into someone we've just been thinking of or happen to pick up a book which contains exactly the perfect information we need at that moment. All right, so how is this book going to tell me, yo, you pick me up right when you need it is pick me up, papa. Okay, so look, with that out the way. Be that as you may, that is amazing. <gasps> I've been searching for answers. Let me tell you. For those that don't know or, you know, like, don't tap into that, I've been, um, I've been tapping in with some things. You know what I'm saying? If you know what's up, you know what's up. I, I just, you know, take one of these, rip in, just. Put out my tongue. If you understand, you understand. I'm just not trying to get tracked by the feds. So, yeah, I tapped in with that twice in less than a week, right? And apparently, if you do that, you don't, you know, it, it doesn't do anything for you. But it did. So, with my first trip, what happened was I was just by myself, you know, just, just geeking, just in my room, watching movies. And then at one point, I was just like... I need to go to my car. And for those that don't know about the Silver Civic, it's just like, it's just a, a safe haven. It's it's a character. Literally, it's it's a character, but it's a car. So I go to the car and I'm gonna follow the shirt. I'm about to show you all this art piece by my dog, Grizz in the Cut. Go cop some Grizz in the Cut merch. He's got some paintings, Dink over designer, another rugged man. Go check them out. All right, so look. Uh, what was that scene? So I go to the car, right? And I start bugging out. Mental thought loops, just listening to music. Smoke my little bit of some reefer. And, um, you know, just like I'm listening to music. And it's like the music is talking to me. Literally. And the music from what I thought at the time, didn't sound like something natural. But that's exactly how it sounded when I ran it back the next day. It was literally talking to me. So it's like, wow. All right, so that trip primarily was mental thought loops, just being in my head and realizing the responsibilities that I have to uphold. And if I don't uphold those responsibilities, there will be consequences that come with that. All right. So with that out of the way, I go and visit my homeboy up in upstate. Shout out Hayes. I go to visit my mans up in upstate. Tra traveled 70 miles. I swear to God. No, it was like 90. Matter of fact, travel 90 miles. I want to have to upstate New York. And um, I go. It's it's. I, first of all, I drive at night, so I don't know. But the next day when I'm coming home, beautiful scenery. Oh, man, beautiful scenery. So get with my mans, and we have our we have our little thing. I tell him, I was like, hey, listen, like, if I'm coming out there, we're going to do the damn thing, and we're going to tap in. It's been a minute since I've seen you. We got a lot to cover. We got a lot of ground to cover. 
we're planning on dropping um, a tape very soon, a mixtape called State of the Art. Be on the lookout for that. It's, it's a really good project. So go out there and we discussed that. I got some 4x6 enlargement prints for some film photos that I shot, right? So I bring that up there with them. And then I bring my photography book up there. So now we're kicking it with the fam in them. And I get to show them my stuff. I get to show them the pictures and stuff like that. And it's beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, got pictures of, 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 of him, of my dog, my dog Grizz. I got pictures of just, like, scenery and stuff like that. And just looking at it, it's like, damn, like, these are fire. But nonetheless, I go up and we do the damn thing, right? And um, it starts off just like, just like normal. And then one thing leads to another. We end up going, chilling in the car, chilling in the Civic. Next thing you know, we're like, yo, like, we want to do something. But in upstate, there ain't much to do. There's literally not much to do up there. So he's like, yo, I got some paint and I got some blank canvases. Like, you trying to paint? Hell yeah, I was trying to paint. It was the first time I've ever really painted something. So, well, putting the brush to the canvas, excuse me. So let me tell you something. I found this blue, beautiful blue. I think it was like something cobalt blue. I'll find it, but beautiful blue. And we were having this this discussion all night of if it was blue or purple, and it was blue. So nonetheless, we discovered that you can, in, like, thought we were bugging out, but you can indeed feel colors. You can feel colors. We listened to Miles Davis kind of blue on repeat for about three straight playthroughs, I want to say. If it wasn't three, it was definitely two. So we listened to it for two straight playthroughs. Miles Davis kind of blue. Very beautiful album. And during this, we're sitting there painting and it's setting an atmosphere, right? But the name of the album is called Kind of Blue. So when Hayes heard that, he was like, he, subconsciously, he was like, damn, like, this man gonna make us listen to some blue music, like, because with blue, you can associate that with feeling blue, which is, you know, a little somber, whatever, whatever you associate blue with. But when we were listening to the blues, it was cool. Miles Davis made it cool to be blue, right? To feel blue. So then we took that and we ran with it and we were like, hey, listen. It's okay to feel blue, right? It's okay to feel blue. But what blue are you, right? What shade of blue are you? All right. So with that established, we were just like, all right. So we're just painting away. We're just painting it away. Now we're having like multitude of different conversations. I'm sitting down in this bed and he was like, yo, I've been looking at myself in this mirror for God, for like two hours. You've been sitting in that bed all comfy. Get your ass up, sit in this chair and stare at yourself like I've been doing for two hours. And I did. And we had like some of the craziest conversations, like some of the like really heartwarming conversations, really insightful conversations. And I wouldn't want to do it with nobody else but my dog. You know what I'm saying? We we established that. We were just like, hey, listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't, can't really be doing this with nobody else because we've seen each other. Up here, down here, over here, over there. You know what I'm saying? So, what was I getting at? Yeah, so. Yes, okay, so in those two trips, I was searching for answers. And I thought that a little piece of paper on my tongue was going to enable me to find those answers. Let me tell you something. It doesn't hurt, but at the same time, it doesn't help you help yourself right don't give the power to these outside forces through the power of your own mind you find something you find something you just have to look for it you just have to be willing to look for it because if you're not willing to look for it then you'll never find it and you'll never know it was lost to begin with you know so i really don't i really don't know where else this video is going but i wanted to Bring this to y'all. Oh, okay. So I can write this. So 
with this book, with creative visualization, like I said, I was searching for answers. And of all days today, I'm just like, I'm going to write down some some things that I want to do, right? Some, some, some plans I have for the future of what I want to do. So I wrote down my five whys of, excuse me, five whys, my five W's of how I can build wealth within my community. I'm not going to get into them because they're my own. But yeah, I, I, I wrote them down and... um. Very, very noble causes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I realized that material possessions, material liabilities, they literally themselves decrease in value when things like assets give you the opportunity to either decrease or increase in value. So with the Civic, when I bought it, obviously, I put on some mileage on it. So it went down in value. But let's just say... God damn, how can I even, I don't know, bro, I'm not business savant, but look, let's just say I hold a pair of Michael Jordan sneakers, right? I hold a pair of Michael Jordan sneakers that came out in 2010, and they they haven't re-released them yet, and it's 2020, they're 10 years old, but they're still pristine, they're still dead stock, whatever the case may be. Their value shoots up because they're Michael Jordan sneakers for some weird reason, and that's another thing that I covered in my five W's. It's like, how, how did we allow these folk, the higher up, to dictate what has value and then at the same time allow them to put a price point of that value at the same time? How do we do that? By acquiescing, by not saying anything. Your silence is an agreement. You don't say nothing. There, you won't start none, won't beat none. The higher ups play by that game. Don't start none, won't beat none. We do this, and you deal with it. And it's like, yo, nothing is a coincidence in this life, right? It took two trips to have that great grain in my mind that. By me doing these things, you could you could chalk it up and say that they own us. They could, that, excuse me, for the time being that they own me, right? Because I'm playing right into their hand. Oh, I have to take a substance to enable this part of my mind that I can tap into naturally, right? Ain't that some shit? That, it, it, it taught me that. It taught me that, believe it or not. Wild thing to... To, to, to wrap my head around. But what I was getting at is understand that nothing is a coincidence in this life. I'm doing this at this time, right? So with that being said, I'm going to say like this. It is election year. Election day was yesterday, right? They're counting up ballots, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to get into all that mumbo jumbo. But how come? How coincidental it is that the higher ups, they're like, okay, so we're going to do a bunch of stuff in 2020, right? Because it's an election year. Okay, so 2020 ain't even start yet for heads, for, for, for people that were big into music. Juice World passes away 2019, December. They'll tell you that. That man swallowed some pills to, to try to hide it from the police. You mean to tell me that young man was just like, just put some Percocet and Xanax in his mouth and just swallowed it down with some lean and, you know. I get, I get like paranoia being, a, being afraid of the cops, not, but that's just idiotic, like. What y'all talking about? Like, nobody's just like, oh, Percocet. Like, come on, bro. It's like, oh, my God. Like, 20 Percocet. Let's get it. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's be real now. All right. So with that out the way, then come January, Kobe passes. I'm not going to get into that. We're beating a dead horse with that already. Pop Smoke passes. More stuff in music. People pass every day, bro. 
All right. I'm not going to get into that. All right. So now we're already we're already softened up, right? We done got hit with lefts, rights, fucking uppercuts and whatever the case may be. So now February and March rolls around, news of the covid start passing. The next thing you know, March rolls around and they're like, "Oh, it hit the United States and we're not taking it as a big deal, you know what I'm saying? This before the masks and the gloves and the hand sanitizer, the toilet paper and all that crazy crap." The next thing you know, they shut down the NBA. And when they shut down the NBA, it's like the world was like, oh my God. But but what did it why did it take for the NBA to shut down? For people to be like, oh, damn, like, maybe I should take this serious. But look, I'ma tell you why. Cause the NBA don't stop for no fucking body. It's a business, bro. You know, they're running all the time. If they could run 24-7, bro, they would. They really would just to make you, just to make some fucking bread to keep you distracted. Just so you can't develop your own thoughts. You're going to talk to somebody about some damn sports. You're going to talk to somebody about LeBron James. Bro, LeBron James is going to see more money. Bro, LeBron James has already seen more money than you will probably ever see in your life. And that's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. There's people starving out here. There's people with no homes, bro. There's people with no food in their bellies, bro. And LeBron James got can, can fucking wipe his ass with money. You know what I'm saying? He might not even be built like that. But you know what? He still can. He still can. He has that ability to. How is that even justifiable? <sighs> That's just the United States for you, bro. You work your ass off. We don't, we don't give a fuck about anybody outside the United States. You know what? You work your ass off over here. You can make you some money. And you can set your family up for life. But everybody else, fuck them. Where was I going with this? All right, so none of this is a coincidence, bro. None of this is a coincidence. All this is happening on an election year. On an election year. 2020. The Great Awakening, bro. 2020 vision. Open your eye. You know what I'm saying? Where was I going with this? Yo, don't smoke weed, bro. Alright, so look. Yo, it's it's just not a coincidence, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's November. It got cold in fucking August. It got it got cold. Like it it dropped from 90s to 70s to to, to like high 70s. No, no, no. Low 70s to like high 60s and stuff like that. Where I'm at, late August. September rolls around. Dropping a six high sixties, low fifties. Now all of a sudden you wake up and it's fucking thirty degrees, and then you gotta go vote. They'll tell you you gotta go vote. They'll tell you your vote matters and stuff like that. But it's like, yo, bro, look at how much tension they're causing every single second. They're like, oh yeah, we're counting up the ballots. You know, Trump's doing this, Biden's doing that, whatever. I said I'm not gonna get into it, but it's not a coincidence, bro, at all. They're trying to keep you. Focus on that so you don't tap in with your, with, with, with your mind, with your subconscious mind, excuse me, because your waking mind can work against you. Your subconscious mind, let your subconscious mind take over. So here's where I'm going to go back to the book. The book states that uh, some of these practices are as followed if you don't really know how to meditate, because I don't even know how to meditate. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to meditate. I can't sit still for the fucking life of me, man. I'll be honest with you. There's things that I have to work on myself, as you can see. But I'm going to tell you like this. The book goes to say that sit with your back straight or lay down, but sit with, make sure that your back is straight so that the energy can flow through your body, right? Breathe in through your nose. Count down from 10 to 1. Breathe in. Feel it in your, feel it in your belly. Let it go. And at the same time while doing that, I don't know if like you're supposed to speak it, like actually speak it or within your mind. Set goals and affirm them. Right? So I have my goals written down and I have my affirmations right with them. So the goals that I want to reach, they're written down. But right underneath them, I have the affirmations that go right along with it. How am I going to affirm it? Ba 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 ba. I want this, and I'm and I have already gained that through ba 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 ba, right? Beautiful stuff. So 
Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you. Take care of your mental before your physical. Take care of your mental and your physical will follow. This is a 20-minute video. Bro, I've been talking for 20 minutes. Jeez. So look, y'all. That's, that's all I don't got to say. Wherever you stumbled upon this video from, from Instagram, from Twitter, from Snapchat, whatever the case may be, because I'm going to put it up. Wherever you done stumbled upon this video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I love you. If ain't nobody told you today, you are something to somebody. Act like it. Think like that. You know what I'm saying? Life got to get worse before it get better. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they're going to do everything in their power to just shut up. Watch the TV. Just take that. Take that. Take that. Like, yo, bro. Like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Do with this video as you may. Watch it over. It's, it's a long fucking video. But take it as you may. I spoke as slowly and as... What's the word? Comprehensible as possible so you get the message. And it took about damn near half an hour to get the message out. But you know what? At the end of the day, it got out. So with that being said, y'all, this is Jordan. Thank you for tuning into this video. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Uh, if you have any questions, I, I, I can leave my socials in the description, stuff like that. I, like, yeah, like... Holla at your boy, and um, until we speak again, until I pick this camera up again, you be safe, and uh, peace be with you.